When we're talking about social media abuse, it's about someone taking the time to bully another person, knowing that on social media, they're doing it behind a screen that protects them. How can you reach a player if you can't see them face to face? Social media. Going into that Costa Rica game, we knew how important that game was for us, because if we could win that game, we would have pretty much qualified right then and there. I already had just gotten a yellow card, and to see the ref give me a second yellow and a red card, I just, it was one of the worst feelings I've experienced on a soccer field. I felt really bad for my teammates, because uh, you know I let them down in that moment. Emotions took over me, you know, flooded with tears, you know, the feeling of, Sadness, disappointment, it was just a lot. It was a lot. When I think back about it now, it's just, it's, it's not uh, an experience I want anyone really to have to go through, yeah. You check social media, your Instagram, your Twitter, and you know, my phone was blowing up. It was really tough to see how quickly people could turn on you and how accessible we are as athletes. People were in my DMs sending monkey emojis and, and saying all these things just because I made a mistake and I was judged upon it for everything I was as a person just because of what I did on the field. It got to the point where I just couldn't believe what people were saying. How do you have the audacity to not know me as an individual personally or anything like that and feel like it's okay to say these things to me? Yes, I already feel terrible about what I did. Like, I know I let myself down before I've let anyone else down. People were so quick to turn on, on their own player. I think the biggest thing for me was how it automatically went to race. I don't understand how People get upset at something an athlete does on the field and automatically goes to their race. I think a lot of these people think that they're safe on social media. They think that they can't be found out. They think that if they say a comment here, no one's gonna look at it. It's like, you won't talk like this to someone face to face. Athletes are humans. Right away they think, oh yeah, you make money, you, you do this, you fancy car, you're on TV. You're not like us. No, like, I am exactly like you, you know? If you're a good person, that means you have to hold the people around you accountable. That's the biggest thing. The more we can hold people accountable, the more we can influence people to do the right thing. The biggest thing about talking about it was just like, hey, listen, like I'm still trying to push this initiative that we need to be better people to each other. And yeah, I know I went through this, but I don't want anyone else to go through it because it's not, it's not enjoyable. We all think that, Yes, the world is so progressive now and everyone is inclusive. And then you put them in a moment like this where they really have to test themselves and, th and they fail. Because deep down inside, we haven't done enough work to change the underlying way people think. As a club, you can't just sit there and be like, well, you know, it's hard for us to deal with. We, we don't want our players to go through this, but we're, we're just gonna sit on our hands. I think you have to go out there and try to do as much as you, you can what football can do to protect their players when it comes to social media abuse is to really push out positive content for people to engage with. At the end of the day, supporters just want to engage with the club. I still have a bad taste in my mouth from it. You know, I have a real bad taste in my mouth and, and, and I'm always going to think in the back of my mind, like there's someone around the corner who's just waiting to say something to me. And I try my best not to give those people power, but as a human, you have emotions and you have feelings, you know? I truly believe we are capable of dealing with this. I truly believe that from a, tech, a technology level, we can figure it out. Humans are the ones who either cause problems or solve problems. Social media is just an accelerant right now. And I'm hoping that we can use that accelerant to create real positive change going forward.